coming into this year from the limited sample size last year, where did you say, you know what, I need to get better A, B, C if I want to be this team's quarterback? Um, I knew I had to get, get better at making my decisions quicker and uh, just staying, staying calm in the pocket and getting rid of the ball quick. Uh, last year I noticed I held on to the ball pretty long and that, that uh, put a lot of stress on the linemen, turned into sacks, and then just, just decision making, getting through my reads and my progressions quicker. Um, I think those were the biggest takeaways. Did you feel like the, uh, you know, the performance on shirt against Nebraska and maybe lent itself a little bit to what happened the other day, just going into a, a road environment like that, having a full week? Um, was there kind of maybe a relationship there with that game last year? Yeah, definitely. I think. Uh, I think Nebraska that that helped me a lot. Um, kind of helped me grow up, grow up a little faster, being a true freshman last year, and then uh, experiencing that. It's a crazy environment, super loud, and then Saturday was also a crazy environment. Um, and I think I think going into this past Saturday, I definitely kind of knew what to expect a little bit more and uh, how to operate, how to operate a little cleaner and better. I guess other than having the week with the ones in practice, how much mentally having that kind of sense of pride and knowing that you're the guy, something that you hadn't had before, how much did that help you play in tactics? That, that helped a lot too. I think I think confidence is huge playing quarterback. Um, not being arrogant or anything, but just having confidence and believing in yourself and in your guys I think is huge. You're a little old to have a security blanket, but what's it like having DJ Moore out there? He's awesome. He's unbelievable. All of our skilled players are, are unbelievable. Ty, Jake, Lolo, uh, Tavon, Jaquil, our linemen, they're, they're unbelievable. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Yeah, they they played they played out of their minds on Saturday. Um, no sacks, 270 yards rushing. That was that was the number one rushing defense going into that game. They played unbelievable. What's the difference between what happened in Central Florida coming in and, and what you did on Saturday? It looked like you were two different players. Mm -hmm. um, I just think knowing that that everyone had my back and had confidence in me was was a big was a big key um, and I think that just that just helped me have a bunch of confidence in all my guys and in myself um, and it helped me stay help me stay calm calm and relaxed throughout the game just let me play football Ohio State's coming off a shutout of Rutgers what have you seen what have you heard about what the Buckeyes do defensively yeah it's it's Ohio State they're always one of the best teams in the country um, but I think we have I think we have a great game plan uh, going up against them you had a couple of early runs uh, the touchdown run mm -hmm. I think it was the first down run before that on, on the opening drive maybe how much did that give you sort of relax you a little bit to, to let the game plan works mm -hmm. and also do you think it put them back on their heels a little bit in terms of opening things up more to high and low yeah I think so they started out the game pretty aggressive uh, trying to uh, like uh, not cheat but just get an edge on our running backs and then that first uh, run I had when I pulled it he, he came in super hard um, so after that he kind of stayed in his place so I think I think managing um, the guys in the box and and all that really helped the the running backs what did drew you to him and to this offense and to want to be a part of Maryland? Going to Buffalo. Yeah, and uh, Coach Coach Lembo had recruited me at Ball State, okay. and um, so I think it was a couple of weeks before signing day. He called my coach, and my coach came up to me in school, 
said, you interested in Maryland? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's Big Ten. And um, I talked to Coach Limbo, and then Coach Bell flew out. We had we sat down and talked together during school and then came out and visited, and I loved it. Loved the coaches, loved the environment, what, uh, what Coach Durkin's all about, what he wanted his program to be about. Um, and then, obviously, this is a great school academically, which was huge for me, too. Oh yeah, we watch a bunch of uh, cut-ups from when they're at Ohio State. Two more for Max. On that last drive, that game-winning drive, you hit, uh, I think it was DJ, on a third and six. And on the previous drive, you had a similar throw and missed out a little bit. Yeah. Did you make an adjustment there? Because it seemed like it was the same route in that time you hit it, and obviously the next play, Ty Johnson in the end zone. Yeah, no, I was I was joking. We could have we could have probably put the game away a little earlier um, if I would have just hit him the first time. But no, the ball just got away from me. And then uh, the next time I knew we had to have it, so I just really tried, really focused on my mechanics and getting the ball there. It was the same play. Yeah. Yep. You had a couple. You had a couple of passes too. One pass that went right through the guy's hands. Mm -hmm. When you look back at the at the, on the game, what do you see as things that you can improve on? Um, still, Ohio State, they're, they're super fast and super fundamentally sound, so I have to be that much sharper with my uh, progressions and my reads and um, just getting the ball out of my hand super quick, not put a bunch of line on the, or a bunch of stress on the O-line. And um, yeah, just, just I say, I'd say get the ball out of my hands quick and, and get through my progressions quick. Last one, guys. Uh, obviously, you know, got the win this past week in Minnesota, but Ohio State's a completely different atmosphere, you know, 100. <laughs> 10,000, I think, something like that, you know, trying to compete for a national title. How much does that game, that start last year in Nebraska, kind of help you as you head into Columbus this week? Yeah, Nebraska is is just a, just as a storied program as, as Ohio State. They have so much tradition, and the fans are just as crazy. So uh, that, that was a crazy environment. Um, this environment's going to be crazy, too, but I think I'll be ready for it. Thank you.